Uh, howdy, y'all. Unky T here. I'm finally out of YouTube prison. Uh, the Communist Party of China let me out. So uh, I had this video all queued up and ready to go when I found out that they uh, sent me to the corner for a week. But anyways, here it is. I hope y'all enjoy it. Stupid YouTube. What I've done here is I, I found this video that uh, our friend Sheriff Grady put out yesterday, or day before, I can't recall. Uh, I'm just going to put the first part out here because there's zero editing involved. Uh, I'm just cutting it off at this point when he's done. But uh, this is a pretty important message that I think y'all can find resonates with you in your own hearts. But anyways, uh, here you go. I hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful day, whether it's snowy or sunny or warm or cold. Y'all enjoy your day with your family and friends. And in this community, I had people come to me and say, hey, we've got a problem. We've got a problem with the street sale of drugs. Now, we call this quality of life issues. And quite frankly, the big cities across this nation have totally ignored quality of life. They've ignored the victims who live in the Portlands and the Seattles and the Minneapolis's and the Chicago's. They've ignored the hardworking people that live in these communities in favor of the criminals, in favor of the ones that want to create discord, discord in a community, in favor of the ones that want to leave needles from drug use in your front yard or your doorstep, that want to, in, in favor of those that urinate and defecate in your yard and on your doorstep. You know, these big cities play to those folks that do that as opposed to the hardworking folks that are trying to live in the community. Well, we don't do that here. Here we pay attention to the community, to the hardworking men and women, to the retirees that live in communities that sometimes are not wealthy communities, sometimes are not average communities, but sometimes are poor communities. You see, I really believe that we as government representatives not should be, but must be the representative and the voice for those who don't have a voice. And when the good, hardworking, God-fearing people that live in co poor communities say, we can't pull out of our driveway for drug sales, we can't sit on our front porch for the way we're treated by drug dealers and drug customers, we're going to do our best to get that in check. Our undercover detectives moved into this community, and we arrested a whole lot of people. And I'm going to give you some snapshots today of the kind of criminals that roam around and take advantage of or prey on people in poor communities or lower socioeconomic communities all across this nation and are allowed to do that. Sometimes they're encouraged to do it by the lack of conduct or con by their local authorities. Not so here. There's not going to be a street in Polk County where it's not safe to let your children play, where it's not safe to walk at night. We're going to make sure that it's always safe for the children to play in the open fields and in the yards. We're going to make sure it's always safe for folks to, to walk their dogs and visit with neighbors. But well, there you go, my friends. I hope you all have a blessed Christmas Day. And I want you all to check out these here videos. If you haven't been here before, please check them out and uh, subscribe. And if you all would hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. That sort of helps with the algorithms there. And uh, there you go. Anyways, y'all have a blessed day. You take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.